Hoo -hoo, everybody. We've got the 14th. I've got a bit of creative slump and my health isn't that bad. That, uh, <laughs> that bad. <laughs> I wish it wouldn't be that bad, but it's uh, not good at all. I've drawn a few pictures. I've I've created this picture with an avatar designer. This picture for my online shop. And at my draft, I'm writing a glossary at the moment. This was one of the bonus chapters I planned for just such situations that, uh, like today, where I don't have any creative story juices flowing out of me, <laughs> but I can still create some words uh, which are great for my readers, because honestly, I've got a big list of players, a big list of NPCs and a growing list of artificial intelligences, so it's good to list them all. Maybe I will sp list spells as well. We see about this. So I did uh, 1200 uh, words, a bit more, and my path to success still looks pretty uh, good. I'm still walking on it and I of course I will continue to walk on the path to success. <laughs> I hope. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow is a uh, half time. Yeah, I want to... I have plans for tomorrow to write something great. <laughs> Let's see how this works out. Okay, bye bye. Hey, I mean, hoo -hoo. I had a rough night uh, with murder headache. My cold is coming and going and getting better and getting worse. And so I had to apply all the tricks in my toolbox today. And yesterday, so um, I told you yesterday that I wrote a glossary, or I did the first part of my glossary, but this requires a lot of concentration not to mess up the descriptions and um, the right order of appearance. I uh, did first the traumatized person like the persons who appear. <laughs> I don't know if um, you use the Latin word for it as well. And I uh, ordered them in the um, order of appearance. Yeah, this was a bit complicated. And then my headache got to bed. It took too much concentration. So I did next um, a stream of consciousness about a screenplay which one of my main characters wants to film in the virtual world, yes? He is a big fan of all things piratey <laughs> with pirates and he was an actor before he joined the virtual reality and he's in his mid-sixties and his career is uh, over. But he never fulfilled this wish of his to play a pirate in a pirate movie. And that's because the movie industry in Germany, we have a movie industry, but big movies on the water, they are expensive. And I don't think there are any German pirate movies. Another point is the water is cold <laughs> at uh, 
the East Sea and the North Sea. And the North Sea has strong tides. I mean, there were very famous German pirates, but yeah, no pirate movies. So uh, he wants to use his second life in virtual reality to finally star in a pirate movie. And he wants to write it himself. And so um, this stream of consciousness is he and Flora figuring out what they want in that pirate movie. <laughs> and so uh, I decided it will be a romance between the pirate and a madman. Yeah, thought nothing much by it or the other way. I have thought about it and imagined it and thought, oh yeah, that's a, a nice uh, scenario. And then I watched a video, a YouTube video and of Cindy Reed's books. I link it in the description below. And she reviewed a book between a pirate and a mermaid. And I said, oh no. I mean, that's always the case. I've got an idea. And then the next minute, the next day, the next week, I stumble over someone who did this idea before me. I know there is no originality left in this world, but why does it have to be always directly after I decide uh, decide on an idea? I mean, I had I would have no problems with reading about something and then yes, saying yes, I do have my version of it. Like I decided there are many we are MMORPG stories. Yes, I, dis I do my version of it. And it was the same in that case. I decided, oh, but I don't do um, the young pro-gamer approach to it. Very popular, popular in the Asian part of this genre is to make him even a returnee. So um, he gets reincarnated in his past, or he uh, get, gets back to his past, and he knows everything about the game, and gets an even better pro player than before. But I thought, oh, I do it with a old woman who knows nothing about games, but knows about engineering and crafting things. Yeah? And I had some different ideas. The first was not an engineer, but it was an old woman as well, but she was a gamer, yeah, and she uh, was in a gaming guild. And I wrote this for NaNoWriMo a few years back, three years, four years, five years back, and it, it worked well, yes, but I thought... Uh, it's better to increase the difference even more and um, write a newbie old woman because I can do many bad jokes about gaming. Like there is um, a group role you can play. It's called Tank. The classical group disposition is Tank Healer and Damage Dealer and with Damage Dealers you get uh, melee and ranged and magic. So uh, tank is an important role and uh, she always uh, mixes uh, up with um, other words like container and thinks she and she thinks she's very smart because yeah, it's called container because they contain the mobs. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I have a lot of these um, bad jokes in petal. Oh, I'm rambling. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but when I decided on it, yes, I can, I know exactly when I decided to go with the engineering auntie. And not a week later, just maybe one or two days later, I stumbled across 
a story called My Retirement in a Game. Yeah, and it was about an old Smith who retires into a VR MMORPG. I mean, that's. I've got so much bad luck with my story ideas. Unbelievable. I never read this story because I wanted to have a plausible reason of deniability <laughs> when uh, there are similarities. But um, I asked one of my reader who had read this story. He wrote the similarities uh, to my story and the differences. He said it was a very different story. So, um, so I read the first... Uh, first chapter or the first two chapters but um, the story didn't uh, I didn't get caught by this story yeah. but generally I like the um, old people trope but uh, yeah maybe I invested that much emotions on oh no he, he writes my story idea uh, that um, this lessened my enjoyment of the story. Maybe I try again in future, but uh, yeah, I have different problems at the moment, like writing NaNoWriMo. Yeah, I haven't, uh, so we were by the tricks, yes? Okay, so um, I've got a glossary trick, I've got a stream of conscience trick, and then I felt better in the afternoon, and wrote a bit on my chapter, great, yeah? I've got over a thousand words, it's below my daily word count, but I've still got uh, two or three hours left in this day, so I could power through, but I believe a bit more rest would be the better choice, yeah? Because... Um, It's, uh, it doesn't improve my situation if I wear myself out in the middle of the month. So I keep it down, keep my workload down. I just focus on not falling behind too far. Yeah, But I don't have to... Um, strain myself at the moment. So I go in my bed now at nine o'clock in the evening or maybe it's half past nine. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I think uh, that's the right decision for today and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye. First rule of the NaNoWriMo Club we don't talk about the hair of the members of the NaNoWriMo Club. I don't know what's going on up there, but um, yeah, it's it's not it's not uh, it's not good. I can assure you, I'm no palm tree, but I still have a cold. Uh, my headache is lurking. It's not there, but you know, it's in the background and it's just waiting to hit me again. Took a lot of naps, but I also wrote a bit. Uh, I wrote a bit on the actual chapter, but I um, cheated as well again <laughs> and wrote glossary. It is as it is, so uh, yeah, November. My surrounding is transpiring against me. Now there are church bells. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you can see my face. Yeah, maybe that's not good. <laughs> Let's uh, lurk in the shadows like my head tag. <laughs> um, yeah, I wrote my words today and that's great. And I attended a bit of Kate Kavanagh's write-in, but uh, then it was too much, but I got around 700 words. 
and uh, a new subscriber. <laughs> cool. Nice. So I actually skipped a birthday party today because of my health. I want to give a shout out to the birthday boy. Um, happy birthday, Marco. I sh have a video clip of him and I show it to you. He lost his pants in a bed. I believe because his girlfriend beat him in cricket. And with cricket, I don't mean the Indian or British cricket, but what we in Germany call cricket. And we are totally allowed to call a different sport cricket because the Americans do it as well with football. I mean, how do you call a game football that is played mainly with your hands and the ball isn't ball shaped but egg shaped and it isn't egg shaped but like it has pointy edges which uh, make it the most difficult to lay egg in the history of hands. Actually there is the kiwi, the bird of New Zealand, and I saw a picture of a um, kiwi egg inside a kiwi. Yeah, I think the kiwi wins the title of the most painful to lay egg, probably. And it's no wonder that they are in danger of extinction. Happy birthday, Marco! Hoo everyone! I'm at my PC again. So uh, we have day 17 and I wrote 109 words, but the day is still young. Young might be overstated, let's say the day is middle-aged. But I want to finish this video, so yeah. I... Uh, talk to you now. So the last few days were not that great, but I'm still pretty close to the path to success. So yeah, whatever you know. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. And I will uh, get some words today in, I'm sure. Bye-bye.